function and image blocks for the CTOP PSU6200 power supply can be downloaded free of charge from the Siemens Industry Online support. They are available as a global library and are easily integrated into your TIA portal project. The associated application example provides documentation for the implementation and is based on the global library and diagnostic interface. When you have downloaded and unpacked the global library, open the library in your project engineering. You should find the function block under types 01 blocks in the library. Under 02 types, you will find the PLC data type with the operating parameters. Function blocks and data types are available for the Sematic S7 300, 400, 1200, and 1500. In the 03 faceplates folder, you will find the corresponding image blocks for the comfort panels and the WinCC runtime advanced software. You can add the blocks to your project by simply dragging and dropping them. The function block has the input parameter impulse. This is the input in which you need to read the coded signal of the PSU6200 at the input of the digital input module of your controller. The output parameters provide information about the current state of the block. The block provides the operating parameters of the PSU6200 via the input and output parameter data PSU. To exchange the data, we use a data block with a PLC variable, which has the corresponding PLC structure as data type. To be able to use the picture blocks, you will need an HMI connection from your operator interface to your controller. To connect the data to the screen block, you need an HMI variable that references the associated PLC variable via the HMI connection. The global library provides two image blocks, an overview screen block, which displays the most important status parameters of the power supply, and a detailed picture block, and displays all the operating parameters of the PSU6200. The data structure is connected via the interface of a screen block. The design of the block is determined, and the displayed trend curves for the voltage and currents are configured. The overview screen module offers the possibility to execute various events when touched. For example, a screen change to the detail screen module. Let's look at the detail screen module more closely. You can see that it consists of a header area, the status area, the navigation area, and the information area. Here in the heading area is the device name. In the status area, you will find a color display of the current device status. The navigation area offers the choice between status information, output parameters, general operating parameters, and curve displays for the current and voltage value. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.